Hi, thanks for coming to my channel. I'm your Everyday Joe. In today's video, I'm going to be making my version of a steak and cheese egg roll without frying. So stay tuned. We appreciate you watching this video. If you want to show support to this channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. And to stay up to date on new content, when we release it, ring the notification bell. You can also visit us on our website or look for us on social networks. Now let's get into the video. The ingredients you're going to need for this recipe is two to three medium sized mushrooms that we're going to be dicing, one half of an onion also diced. The type of beef we're going to be using is the beef round cube steak. Now you can use a shaved steak or a ribeye or any kind of beef that you like here. It doesn't really matter as long as it's cut up small. Some salt and pepper. I'm also going to be adding a little bit of hot pepper flakes and that's optional. You don't need to add that. The cheeses we're using is Swiss cheese slices. Again, you can use any preferred cheese that you like. Also a uh, a six shredded cheese blend that I'm going to be using on top of that. Five to six egg roll wraps, some chopped chives, and for a dipping sauce, I'm going to keep it simple, just a tempura store-bought dipping sauce. So let's get started. Place the mushrooms in a dry pan. You want to make sure not to add any salt or oils here. You want to make sure that the mushrooms brown on their own because they're going to shrink and give off a lot of water. Keep stirring until they reduce in size and have a nice brown color to them. Then we're going to remove them from the pan and put them into a bowl just to let them cool. Now let's put the onions into the pan, put a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper, and we're going to saute these onions until they're translucent. When they're done sauteing, we're going to again remove them from the pan and put them into a bowl and let them cool. The next step, we're going to be adding the diced cube steak into the pan with a little bit of olive oil, and we want to make sure we brown it all the way through. I'm adding the hot pepper flakes, the salt, the pepper, or any seasoning that you prefer to add to the steak. So you want to make sure you cook it all the way through. Also be aware that let off a lot of uh, water. So you want to make sure you use a slotted spoon to take the steak out, put it into a bowl uh, and allow it to cool. The final step in the process, we're going to add everything together, everything we just cooked. So place the beef, the mushrooms and the onions all together. We're going to give it a taste, make sure that the flavor is fine and not too salty. Add any seasoning that you prefer at this point here just to finish it up. And again, we're going to take it all out, put it into a bowl and allow it to cool before we make the egg rolls and wrap them. Okay, now that we have the meat all squared away, all the, all the ingredients are all together. I put them all together at the sauteing. Uh, we're going to take our egg roll wrap. And these are just regular egg roll wrap from your Asian uh, supermarket. And uh, like I said, this is going to be a real simple recipe. All we're going to do is assemble it here. Uh, instead of keeping it squared, you want to angle it like this. So you want to angle it here. And usually what I do is that I start by watering or dampening the edges, just so it'd be easier afterwards. And you want to make it pretty wet. You don't, you don't want to skimp on this because uh, uh, the more moist the edges are, the better it'll stick while it cooks. Okay, so first I'm going to use, I'm going to use Swiss cheese, a six cheese blend of shredded cheese. So we're going to put the Swiss cheese in the, in the center there. And it's it probably only going to take about two tablespoons of the mixture. If you add too much, uh, you won't be able to close it. So add the meat on top and I try to fit it right onto that slice of Swiss cheese. And then I take a nice, probably a, a tablespoon of the shredded cheese on top. Okay, just like that. Okay, and I try to move it to the edge a little bit, coming towards me. So it's easier to wrap when you roll it here. So you wanna drag it in a little bit, push the edges in here. And now what, what I'm going to do also is I'm going to wet the top. So again, it'll stick better. It won't, it won't open up on you when it's when the cheese starts melting and dripping all over the place. So fold that up, tuck it in, fold that up here, tuck that in. And I want you want to make sure you get these edges here to close and then just roll it here like this. Okay, so you want to tuck those edges in. When you put it on your rack, uh, whatever you're going to use, a, a pan or something, you want to make sure that the seam goes down on, onto the rack. 
We grab a rack here. So basically, it's gonna go this way here, and you're gonna cook it for a total of 12 minutes, six minutes. After it, you'll see it start bubbling and turning brown here. You can flip it over to this side here. That won't open up because it, it'll be it'll be crusted over at that point. So six minutes on this side, then you roll it, six minutes on the opposite side. And I'm gonna make one more for you. Again, take your egg roll wrap and line it up in an angle like a uh, diamond. Take, take your water and you can use your finger. I just, the brush, I find it to be a lot easier. Okay, just get the corners. All right, piece of cheese. Now you can use any cheese you want. This recipe, I have Swiss, so that's what I have on hand. That's what I'm going to use here. Okay, two tablespoons of the mixture. Okay, and you wanna make sure you tuck it all in to that, to that center and close to the, the close end here of this corner because you're gonna wrap over it. Take your cheese right on top. And it doesn't have to be pretty, it just has to fit inside. Take the top, the back corner here, roll it over and back. Tuck everything in, make sure everything is in place. Okay, take this, you wanna pinch that corner and fold it over. Tuck everything in, pinch that corner, fold it over and then probably one and a half or two rolls at that point there, and there you have it. That's two. So uh, I'm probably gonna get about uh, seven or eight out of this batch. I'm gonna get them all set up. Before we, we bring it into the power air fry oven, I'm gonna use just a regular canola oil cooking spray to spray all around them. That'll help crisp it up. It'll give it that bubbly look that uh, the fried look usually has. Uh, and it'll give it a nice, nice crunch when you're done. So I'm gonna set it all up and I'll show you when it goes into the oven. Okay, we're just gonna spray it. Like this. Okay, a little bit on the back sides here. Just to dampen it. Okay, we're gonna put it in the oven here. Close the door, power it up, 400. For about 12 to 15 minutes, we're gonna start at 12 and we'll come check it. After about six minutes, we're gonna flip it over. Uh, we're gonna rotate the egg rolls to the bottom sides. Uh, that way they crisp up all the way around. So I'll see you when they come out. Okay, we're just gonna pull them out and flip them. You can see how they get nice and bubbly. So I'm just gonna flip them over. Just like that. And then we're gonna slide them right back. Okay, close that up. Okay, give it about another five minutes. And we should be good. Okay, they're coming out. They've been in there 15 minutes total now. Okay, you can see how crispy, nice and toasty they are has that, that fried look. And you can see they came out nice and crispy, nice uh, and bubbly, just like a, a fried version would be. So you can see that here. So now you wanna make, a, make sure that they sit for about 15 minutes to cool. They're very hot on the inside. The cheese is, is bubbling on the inside, today, so it's very, very hot, so be careful. So we're just gonna cut into this and you can hear the, the crunch. So you can hear that now you take a look at that i mean that that's just beautiful you know more cheese the better so you can see that here so so there you have it and we're going to uh give this a taste for a sauce a uh, dipping sauce you don't have to use it uh with i figure with egg rolls it goes good i use a tempura dipping sauce just add some uh, a little bit of ginger and some chopped onions in there and it's all you need just to give it a little sweetness if you want it. If not, this is good by itself. 
Okay, so we're gonna give it a taste here. I just put a little dip here, give it a little dip. Mmm, that tastes really good. And it's nice and light, it's not fried. Mm. Nice crust. And it goes well, and nice and nice and light uh, on a Saturday night if you're just hanging out, or if it's for a uh, party or a game day. If you guys do make these, uh, you know, comment uh, below. Uh, if you use uh, egg roll wraps for uh, other meals, go ahead and put that down in the comment section below. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, comment. If you haven't subscribed, uh, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the little bell icon that that will give you notifications whenever I publish a new video. Uh, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.